What's going on guys? My name is Mitch Robs and today we're going to be talking about Plankerton Endurance, uh, my AFK Plankerton Endurance, the East Amp, which is directly east of the Storm Shield, and to the north. So we're going to be talking about the north side of the East Amp. So, uh, what's so special about this amp? Uh, we're going to we're gonna go through the pathing real quick. We're going to go through uh, everything about it. We're going to go through how to do block off all my traps and stuff like that. I'm going to teach you how to build it. Alright, so husks spawn right in this little water. They spawn right here. Uh, in this area as well as they spawn up here uh, where this little uh, ridge is uh, that's good to know because if uh, husks spawn up here they're really annoying so we have to build for that all right so what's the pathing of the tunnel so we're gonna take them from all the way down here they're gonna walk up here they're gonna walk through the tunnel there's gonna be a recycling system they're gonna walk through here there's going to be a little bit of recycling. There's going to be a stagger recycler that boops them off over here. Uh, if they get booped off here, they have to walk all the way back around. And then walk back through the tunnel again. There's going to be more stagger recyclers, but there's going to be ceiling drop shots to kill them and wall darts. They're going to walk up here. There's going to be more stagger recyclers, and then there's the amp. Alright, so let's go over how to make block off and my traps that I use in this tunnel. So, say we're protecting from the north side. Say the husks want to go through this wall to the north side. How are we going to prevent the husks from doing that? So, one concept we're going to use is called a sandwich. Um, I call this colloquial... A colloquial... Oh, holy shit, I can't pronounce that word. Uh, but it, whatever, it, we're going to call this a sandwich. So, the, a sandwich is a cone edited facing to protect two sides. So, if they go against this side, they can't go through it. If they go against uh, the north side, they can't go through it. So it's going to be a cone like this, surrounded in walls. This is what we're going to call a half sandwich, or just a regular sandwich. Uh, what that's going to allow us to do is protect uh, against three layers uh, for the husk going to the north or to the east. Um, we're going to also have a concept called a full sandwich. A full sandwich has an edited floor piece uh, facing one direction. So if you see I can't walk through it, that means husk can't walk through it. And we're going to edit that cone piece and surround it in walls. This is going to be called a full sandwich and is going to add a lot of block off and a short amount of layers. So this is going to be a full sandwich and it's going to have one, two, three, four layers in a certain direction that you can block off. Now, why is that important? Well, if there's enough layerage in between a husk and their objective, the husks won't even go and beat on that. They'll just walk around it. So there's a formula that you can use uh, three times uh, the amount of uh, like spaces over that the husk has to walk, so tiles over. So if they had to walk over three tiles, it'd be three times the amount of uh, tiles plus one for smashers to walk that way. So you'd need, if you, they, if you wanted them to walk from the edge of this tile, It'd be three times three, so nine and ten layers you need in between them and their objective for them to walk all the way over here to this tile. All right, so now let's uh, get on to this. Um, first, I'm gonna add some anti-air traps because I did see uh, like this was AFKable, but it kind of seems a little sketchy to me uh, with lobbers sometimes. So we're just gonna throw some anti-air traps up real quick because there are like a crap ton of an uh lobbers that can potentially uh strike at this onto the storm zone wave at uh, wave 27 all right so let's go over my traps real quick so we're gonna have uh anti-air traps these are gonna have double range uh one damage one reload speed and two durability we're gonna have broadsides these are gonna have damage crit damage crit rating reload speed increased building health we're gonna have ceiling drop traps these are gonna have Two times durability, one crit rating, one crit damage, and one reload speed. We're going to have ceiling electric fields. These are going to have crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, increased building health. Uh, the increased building health can be uh, changed to uh, durability as well. And we're going to have ceiling gas traps. These are going to be physical, damage, crit damage, crit rating, reload speed, and durability. We're also going to have a uh, ceiling zapper. These are going to be element energy, damage, crit damage, Crit rating, reload speed, durability. And we're also going to have... I don't think we have retractable floor spikes in here. We're going to have sound walls. We're going to have two sound wall schematics. This one, which is pretty much all durability, effect duration, two times reload speed. And we're going to have another one that just has one reload speed. Uh, it really doesn't matter as long as it just has one reload speed. You could probably put a durability in the reload speed spot. The second reload speed spot. We're going to have tar pits, which are going to be all durability. We're going to have wall darts, which are going to have crit rating, crit damage, 
crit rating, durability, increased building health, you can change those rolls up. Those aren't going to be the best rolls, I believe. We're going to have wall dynamo. These are going to have element energy, crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, and durability. We're going to have two wall launchers. We're going to have a three times impact, two times reload speed, one durability wall launcher. And we're going to have all durability, two times reload speed wall launcher. We're going to have wall spikes so with all damage rolls and heals building attached. And we're going to use... Uh, a particular wooden floor spike that's going to be blue. It's going to have uh, all durability and no uh, upgrades for the physical damage. This is just going to be so we can slow them down and not damage them. But all right, let's uh, get into the build. So we have already gone over exactly the spawns of this build. Uh, so we don't necessarily need to go over those. But uh, here's the general tunnel on how to build it. So we're going to walk up here. There's going to be this little 2 by one ridge right here. Uh, we're going to go forward to the south, and we're going to place a wall. This is going to have an all durability, uh, two reload speed wall launcher on it. We're going to go to the left one tile. There's going to be an all durability, two reload speed wall launcher. We're going to go forward to the south. There's going to be a blue wooden floor spike. To the left is going to be a wall launcher. This is going to have all durability on it. Uh, and then in this, there's going to be staggered sound walls. There's going to be a uh, sound wall with um, two reload speed, and this is going to be a sound wall with one reload speed. Alright, so we're going to keep going forward. There's going to be a blue wooden floor spike. To the left is going to be a two reload speed sound wall, and above is going to be a ceiling gas trap. On this wall launcher, there's going to be uh, all durability, two reload speed. We're going to go to the west. There's going to be a blue wooden floor spike, nothing on the right wall, a ceiling gas trap, a wall launcher with the all durability, two reload speed. We're going to go forward. There's going to be an edit and low wall, so use this edit if you uh, want this piece. Uh, this is so we can create a stagger recycler for smashers. We're going to go forward. There's going to be a blue wooden floor spike. Above is going to be a ceiling electric field. And to the left is going to be a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. There's going to be an edited low wall. There's going to be a tar pit. Three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. A ceiling electric field. Then there's going to be another edited low wall, but facing the other direction. There's going to be a tar pit. There's going to be a wall launcher, three times impact, two times reload speed, a ceiling electric field. Uh, and we're going to push over here uh, and we'll go over how to build this little section in a second. Uh, but right now we're going to go over this floating tunnel real quick. So we're going to keep going to the south. There's going to be a tar pit. Uh, this is going to have uh, all durability. There's going to be a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. Then there's going to be a ceiling zapper. Then there's going to be another stagger cycler low wall. We're going to keep going forward. There's going to be a ramp with wooden floor spikes with heels building attached on them. And then to the left, there's going to be wall lights. Um, these are so to prevent the husks from beating on this wall or this ramp. So if the husk beats on this ramp, it's going to boop them off or it's going to uh, stun them. So they keep walking. We're going to have a wall above that attached to it. There's going to be a wall launcher on that. We're going to place another wall to the north above that on a floor tile is going to be a ceiling drop trap. And then we're going to have another uh, low wall edited low wall then uh, there's going to be a floor attached to that that's going to be a tar pit and then there's going to be a ceiling zapper on this uh ceiling that's the general uh tunnel it's pretty easy so now let's uh let's figure out how to do the block off then i'll show you like the rest of the tunnel portions so block off wise it's pretty simple um and we'll be able to pretty much edit through it so right here is the start of our block off on the right side we're going to have an, uh, this is right here is behind our first, uh, inside. There's going to be like a ceiling gas trap right here and everything. Ceiling gas trap and a wall launcher behind that is going to be our first, uh, sandwich. So this sandwich is going to be facing the Northwest. It's not going to have an edited floor tile and it's going to be surrounded in walls. This is also part of our tunnel right there. If we're going to the East, there's going to be a sandwich facing the Northwest with no uh, tiles on the natural terrain side. Now we're going to go to the south one tile, so we're here, we went to the south one tile, there's going to be um, a sandwich facing the northwest, this is going to be surrounded in walls except for on the natural terrain side. We're going to go to the west one tile, there's going to be another sandwich with the cone facing the northwest. Alright, so we're going to go hop to the east tile again, and then we're going to hop south one more time. This is also going to be a, a half sandwich, or just a regular sandwich facing the northwest. Uh, surrounded in walls except for on the natural terrain and then we're gonna go hop to the south again one more tile this is also going to be a half sandwich facing the northwest uh, and that's surrounded in walls and that should be the end of our right side block off it's not too difficult 
It's just sandwiches facing the natural terrain path, so they walk on our uh, man-made path. As well as we had the block off over here, we went over this in our uh, Storm Shield South build. Um, but I'll go over again like some of the caveats of this block off. Basically, the idea is we want them to uh, get thrown off here and walk all the way back up around this way so they have to recycle into our tunnel. Um, so a couple things is integrated into our lobber shield. We would normally have a ramp going up for our lobber shield to save tiles, but since this uh, wall launcher has the potential to launch them on top of that lobber shield, we have like a little cubby hole so that if they hit against this, then they just drop back down. As well as our AFK spot for this Plankerton Endurance is way up there. Uh, Assassin Husks will target us versus going toward the Amplifier. So they'll walk all the way here, 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 here. And they'll beat on this wall sometimes, like the little baby husks. So we just put wall spikes along these, lining these, so that if they do beat on that, it doesn't really matter. Alright. So another little piece of block off is right here. There's this natural uh, too long ramp. Uh, there's going to be this floor tile, which we placed earlier for our, uh, for our little sound wall propane room. We're going to go to the south one tile. There's going to be a wall. Inside this is going to be an edited cone piece facing the southwest so they don't break through that. And then it's going to be surrounded in walls except for on the natural terrain side. Alright, so now we're going to go over our lobby shield. Um, and how to build, like, a certain aspects of our tunnel. Alright. So, lobby shield wise. Um, we're going to start at the edge of our tunnel. So we have this, uh, this built already. This area. We're going to start on the, e or the west side of this. We're going to start at the end of the tunnel before we hit this wall with the ceiling drop trap. We're going to go up one, two ramps high. And we're going to go one, two, three, four ramps over. So it's going to be a four by two grid of ramps attached to our tunnel. This is going to prevent any husks that are down here. Uh, where we drop them down from throwing at our amplifier, any lobbers. We're going to go to the south one tile. We're going to hop up, and this is going to be where our ceiling drop trap is in our tunnel. We're going to go to the west one tile, and this is going to be a floor piece. And then we're going to drop down with it, and these are all going to be walls connecting to our block off. So three walls. So this is uh, if they get booped off right here, and they get pushed here, they're going to land down here uh, in like our natural area. So let's get back up top. So that's going to boop them down. We're going to continue all the way to the end of our little grid. We're going to place uh, next to this ramp. We're going to place one, two, three walls over. We're going to skip. A, we're going to place a floor uh, on top. This is going to have a ceiling drop trap on it. I think I'll just place uh, wooden pieces on the ceiling drop trap tiles. But uh we're, we place those three walls. We're going to place a floor here um, on top of this left wall. And then we're going to place uh, two walls above the other two walls in that. Uh, we're going to place a wall to the right, to the east of it, and a wall to the south or north of it. And we're going to place another uh, wall to the north. So we're going to hop back up. We're going to place a floor tile, floor tile. These are going to have ceiling drop traps on them. Uh, we're going to go to the north, and we're going to... Uh, do this little two by one with uh with ceiling drop traps on it. We're gonna go to the north uh, of this northwest tile. We're gonna go a two by two grid of uh, ceiling drop traps. We're gonna go to the west of this uh, north uh, west tile. We're gonna do a two by one of ceiling drop traps. We're gonna have a tile that's a connecting piece. This is gonna be a wall. It's gonna be on uh facing the north of this tile, and we're gonna have two walls uh to the north of that as well facing the east and west we're gonna hop up there's gonna be a two by three grid of ceiling drop traps all right so this is our spawn trap so i'll give you guys a better picture of that we'll ramp up real quick this is exactly where all the ceiling drop traps are going to be so I'll give you guys a little bit of a reference right here those ceiling drop traps are going to be our spawn trap, and they're absolutely going to nuke every single, like, little husk that uh, gets there before our, um, before our like, actual tunnel, like, in early waves. So it'll save you durability on your actual tunnel later on. Alright, 
So we've created that little um, drop trap spawn trap. And I'll give you guys an underside view of it as well. Let me as soon as I get all this wood off here. Alright, so now let's uh, look from the underside. So anything that spawns up here is going to hit by this 2x3 of uh, ceiling drop traps. Anything that spawns down here is going to walk up here. They're going to get hit by this 2x2 two two right here. They're going to get hit by this 4x1 right here and this 2x1. Uh, and this 2x1 is over our timeout room for the propane because uh, ceiling drop traps don't set off propane because they stun the husks. So that's good. As well as... uh. We're going to talk about this little recycling area. So we're going to come through the tunnel. We're going to come to our second, our eastward facing uh, stagger recycler. And what is this? We have wall darts and a bunch of ceiling drop traps over here. So we're going to start at this first or the second tar pit on our tunnel. We're going to go out to the east one tile and facing the north and the south, there's going to be a wall. There's going to be a wall above that. So two, uh, two walls high and connecting to that is going to be a, uh, a wall with a wall dart and above that is going to be another wall we're going to go over to this south one tile there's going to be a wall with a wall dart and a wall above it and then to the south one more tile facing the north and the south there's going to be a wall and another wall above that is going to be a uh, ceiling drop trap and another ceiling drop trap to the north this is going to be so that anything that gets staggered off right here is going to get ceiling drop trapped and as well as anything that stands right here is going to get hit by a wall dart. It's just to add a little bit of extra damage to the smashers that get right here. Alright. So now what happens to the husk if they get staggered down here? So they're going to walk down here. Uh, they're going to come across here. Uh, there's going to be a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. There's going to be another three times impact, two times re reload speed wall launcher. And this is just to add a little bit more recycling. So if the husks do come right here, they're going to get pushed all the way back over here and have to walk back up this cliff again. But that should be most of the tunnel. Now let's talk about like uh, weird things. So we need these uh, anti-air traps periodically above our tunnel because on wave 27, lobbers are actually just stupid. Uh, lobbers don't care about our spawn trap, don't, or our lobber shield don't care about anything, they just like to throw. So, things can get hectic on wave 27, but this still passes, like, pretty easily. So, we're gonna throw up these, uh, these anti-air traps with the double range here, just in case the lobbers do want to throw at the storm shields that could potentially spawn on this amp. Uh, I think there's one that, like, spawns right there, and, like, one that spawns, like, over here and stuff like that. Um, so if they do throw at that, they might break like a couple of the spawn trap pieces, but they're going to get taken out the majority of their lava or their lava balls by these, uh, anti-air traps. But, uh, that should be the amp. We just have them periodically thrown around. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thrown around here. But I mean, realistically, you could probably get away with less or more. Um, I'm not going to be the judge of that. But as well as I should probably go over how we surround our amplifier. So on the actual amplifier, we just surround it in walls. Uh, there's nothing fancy to it. It's just surrounded in walls. But that should be the majority of the block off and everything for our uh, amplifier build. And before our storm sheet or for our east amp north. But I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate if you guys would drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. And show me a comment on the video about what I could do better and uh, what amp you'd like to see next. As well as I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash mitch underscore robs. Go check it out. I do a lot of Mythic Storm King. I do dungeons. I do a lot of mission help. I do really a lot of things. Sometimes I build an uh, endurance. Uh, I'd really appreciate if you guys stopped by and dropped a follow. It mean the world to me. But um, thank you guys so much. We hit 1,000 followers on the YouTube channel recently, and I got partnered on YouTube. So I thank you guys so much for even, like, stopping by and watching my videos. I know a lot of people, like, like have checked out my channel recently, and I never expected this. So I thank you guys so much for that. It means the world to me. But um, we're going to be off to the gameplay now. Thank you guys so much for watching.